Hey, what's up? If you're just getting your landscaping business off the ground or you're in your first or second year, I wanna teach you something called local market domination strategy. Um, I'll just get right into it. So you want to pick local neighborhoods or a local cluster of subdivisions or maybe even one large subdivision um, to work in. You think that you wanna take everything you can get of course, that's true because you need to make money now. Just be aware that if you're driving you know, anywhere 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 miles away to go do a job, wherever you go work, work creates work, and the neighbors are going to see you working, and now you're going to start picking up more customers in whatever area you're working in. So if you're driving really far out, I did this for years, and I realized that it wasn't worth it but I only felt safe in letting those far away customers go and year after year slowly shrinking down my geographic area, my local geo targeting area to a six mile radius. That's what it's gonna be in 2022. But I had to make sure I had enough customers to be able to do that first. And just starting your business, if you had a bunch of money to spend on marketing and advertising and you were very, um, uh, 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 experience with this, you would basically put a pin in the center of where you, you start your business out of every morning, your home, your shop, your office, and you draw a circle or the specific zip, zip codes, and you'd work in a three to five to 10 mile radius, depending on your average ticket job price. So what I mean is if you're mowing lawns, and you're charging 35 bucks a lawn or something like that, um, you probably want to stay as close as possible. And if you do travel far, you would only travel to do clusters of lawns, which is called um, um, uh, 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 route density, right? So you want to go ba 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 like, you know, like a sewing machine, I think of it. So, but if you're driving really far and driving all over the place, you're losing time and money and what you got employees on payroll and workers' comp and taxes and the gas price is going through the roof. It's very costly, right? But you got to get in where you fit in and take whatever you can get until you can keep condensing it down. It's taken me a few years to do this, but being aware of it is, is a very important thing. Okay, local market domination strategy is where you get specifically the customers you go after and attract the customers you wanna work with. So pick and think of uh, maybe a couple neighborhoods by where you work and you wanna get customers in those neighborhoods. Here's what you do. You wanna get um, bandit signs door hangers or flyers, obviously business cards. You wanna have shirts with your logo and phone numbers on them and hats and huge magnets or even vehicle wraps. Anything that you can get that's marketing and advertising your business and obviously a website, a Google My Business, uh, any place that will let you put your business for free all, excuse me, all over the internet. And you want all of the marketing, the font to look the same, the colors to be the same. You want it to all look the same all the way across the internet and you want your stuff to be everywhere. And you want to dominate a local sector, a local market. So imagine there's a subdivision that's got 1,000 houses. That's a lot. You want to work in. And so you're going to go on like a uzmarketing.com. I'll put a link in the description below. You can get a discount to these bandit signs. Uh, all types of stuff on this marketing website that I found. I'll put a link below, UZ Marketing like go there or anywhere else you want to go and order like you can order just as little as 10 bandit signs 20 30 put the bandit signs in in michigan we have these turnarounds we call them michigan turnarounds you might not have that but they're in, in the road people are waiting to turn on busy traffic and you can put bandit signs there you can also put them on the street corners around in and around the subdivisions you want to work and then put them at the entrances of the subdivisions and then when you get customers in these subdivisions get permission from the customers to stick it in the customer's lawn so your you know tens of thousands of people driving past everywhere i don't know if you're in a metropolitan area are going to see these signs all the time and then you want to go on facebook and geo target run ads if you know how to do this if you don't uh go on <sighs> It's really, really easy. You could just watch a tutorial about it on YouTube. Uh, I don't do that stuff anymore. I have a Facebook ads guy and a YouTube ads guy, and they help me and run all my ads and campaigns for me on my behalf because I don't have the time to do it anymore. And uh, But you don't have to, but I'd say run some ads around that geo-targeted area and then go in door hanger, make, get door hangers made on uzmarketing.com or uprinting.com or whatever, David Carroll's dope marketing or send gym. You can do door hangers, postcards, or flyers. And you want a door hanger 
those subdivisions literally every single week for like six weeks. You don't just do it once, do it several times, do it at least twice, right? Do it several times as the season's coming and the grass is growing and the birds are chirping. You want your stuff to be everywhere so you become omnipresent. So everywhere they look, they're seeing your stuff. They're seeing your bandit signs. They're getting you on their Facebook feed and in their marketplace feed. All of a sudden you're getting, uh, they're getting their, your door hanger, right? You might even be do canvassing, knocking on doors, passing out flyers and selling stuff. Uh, if they allow that where you're at, right? I sold a lot of jobs knocking on doors. And then the next thing you can do is, um, I could talk about this a long time, but I'll keep it short. When you dominate a local area over and over and over and over and you hypersaturate it, the people get this kind of feeling that you're everywhere, right? If you can break into local Facebook groups or go on nextdoor.com, leave comments below for anybody who, uh, so anybody new can read it. You dominate the marketplace and then... Uh, the next thing is generating a referral engine, and I'll talk about that in another video. But you could drum up so much work so fast and get yourself so swamped that you're booked literally 6, 8, 12, 16 weeks out with work. You can literally book out yourself out the whole summer within the first 6 to 8 weeks if you're constantly hustling and selling. Um, the next thing you'd want to pay attention to is being very, very careful about knowing your numbers. So I'm gonna talk about that in future videos, but anyways, I'm excited for you, I'm happy for you, I'm happy for your, your business. We're literally ramping up right now, we're hiring, uh, we're getting everything in a row. Oh yeah, one more thing, if you need a software to run your service business on, I've been using this software called Jobber for three years. There's a lot of great softwares out there. I haven't used Jobber, I like it, and I'm a Jobber ambassador. My dog is growling. Go and get a free 14-day trial of Jobber at getjobber.com slash Keith. I'll put a link in the description below. If you like it and you decide to sign up, you get 20% off your first six months with Jobber, and you can run your whole business on this. You can do billing and invoicing and contactless payments, follow up the customers, get referrals and five-star reviews. It's an awesome software. Check it out.